16 signs that the U.S. economy is going to be just fine, quote-unquote. According to Joe Biden and the pundits in the mainstream media, the U.S. economy is in great shape and much better times are just around the corner. In fact, CNN is actually scolding those of us that are warning that economic conditions are rapidly deteriorating. A CNN article entitled, It's Time to Chill with All the Recession Talk, is boldly declaring that the economic optimists were correct and that what our leaders are doing is working. Of course, that is music to Joe Biden's ears because he's trying very hard to convince all of us that the policies of his administration have the U.S. economy moving in the right direction. Of course, you will never hear Biden share any of the numbers that I'm about to share with you. The following are 16 signs that the U.S. economy is going to be, quote-unquote, just fine. Number one. 47% of Americans believe that interest rates will go even higher in the next six months. Number two, 67% of Americans believe that inflation will go even higher in the next six months. Number three, only 36% of Americans expect that the U.S. economy will grow in the next six months. Number four, only 31% of Americans expect that the stock market will go up in the next six months. Number five, only 29% of Americans expect that unemployment will go down in the next six months. Number six, Boeing just announced that it will be giving the axe to 2,000 workers this year. Boeing is planning to slash around 2,000 jobs this year, primarily in finance and human resources, to simplify its corporate structure. The U.S. plane maker confirmed to Fox Business Digital on Monday that the job cuts will come through a combination of attrition and layoffs. Number seven, Dell just announced that it will be laying off more than 6,500 workers. Dell plans to lay off roughly 5% of its workforce, the company said in a re regulatory filing on Monday, in the latest example of tech companies cutting costs in an uncertain economic climate. Dell has about 133,000 employees, the company told CNN. At that level, the 5% cut will represent more than 6,500 employees. Number eight, Zoom just announced that it is reducing the size of its workforce by 15%. Zoom is reducing its headcount by 15%. The layoffs will affect about 1,300 of Zoom's employees, CEO Eric Wand said in a blog post published Tuesday on the video communication company's website. Number nine, the CEO of Zoom says that he's going to cut his own salary by 98% because the economic outlook is so grim. The CEO of Zoom has said he will slash his own $1.1 million salary by 98% after laying off about 1,300 employees, 15% of the company's workforce. Number 10, as a result of falling sales, Impossible Foods is being forced to lay off approximately 20% of its workers. Sales have collapsed, however, which according to a recent Bloomberg report, has resulted in Impossible Foods planning to lay off around 20% of its workforce. Number 11, Bed Bath & Beyond just announced that it will be closing 150 more stores. Bed Bath & Beyond is closing 150 more stores just a week after the struggling retailer announced the closure of 87 locations. The company's brick-and-mortar footprint has already shrunk dramatically. A, re a regulatory filing showed late Monday and the new closings mean it will have shuttered 400 stores in the past year. Almost half the 950 or so stores it had opened in February 2022. Number 12, the U.S. housing market continues to crash. Existing home sales in the United States have now fallen for 11 months in a row. Number 13, an economist that predicted the housing crash of 2008 says that it's likely that U.S. housing prices will soon fall by another 15 percent. Number 14, at this point, 57 percent of all Americans cannot even afford to pay an unexpected $1,000 emergency expense. Number 15, while Joe Biden has been in the White House, the average American family has seen real annual earnings fall about $6,000. The average family has seen real annual earnings fall about $6,000 under Biden, while higher interest rates have increased borrowing costs another $1,400. That means a family effectively can buy $7,400 less today than
than it could in January 2021. Number 16, one recent survey discovered that only 16% of Americans say that their finances are better off since Joe Biden entered the White House. But the U.S. economy is just fine, quote unquote. At least that is what our leaders would have us believe. For example, Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell just told the press that the U.S. labor market is, is extraordinarily strong. The U.S. labor market remains extraordinarily strong, and Friday's monster jobs report unders underscored that the central bank has more work to do to bring down inflation, Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell said on Tuesday. He said, we did not expect this to be this strong, Powell said, of the January jobs report, which showed the U.S. economy added 517 jobs. It kind of shows you why we think that this will be a process that takes a significant period of time, he said. But what Powell did not explain is that the U.S. economy did not actually add 517,000 jobs last month. That is just the final figure that is given to the media before the bureaucrats in Washington are done with all of their adjustments, quote-unquote. The real unadjusted number for last month was a loss of 2.5 million jobs. But the pundits in the mainstream media are going to continue to insist that everything is just great, even though all of the evidence suggests otherwise. CNN is claiming that the economy economic optimists were right all along. In 2021, a bunch of economists and policymakers underestimated the inflation that was taking root around the world. In 2022, as inflation hit 40-year highs and the Fed ramped up interest rates, many of those commentators went full-on gloomy, predicting a recession that was all but inevitable. But in the slightly brighter light of 2023, it looks as if the optimists, those who called inflation transitory and believed the Fed could pull off the so-called soft landing, were right all along. You can believe that if you want. And you can also believe that Joe Biden is going to dress up in a Santa suit and visit you on the 4th of July this year too. But just because you believe something doesn't mean it's actually going to happen. So many of the long-term trends that people like me have been warning about for years are now reaching a crescendo during the Biden administration. The truth is that we are not just heading into another recession. Ultimately, what we're witnessing is a fundamental meltdown of our entire system, and that means that a tremendous amount of economic pain is ahead of this country, for this country. And this is by Michael Snyder. He says, it's finally here. Michael's new book entitled End Times is now available in paperback and for Kindle on Amazon. About the author, my name is Michael, and my brand new book entitled End Times is now available on Amazon. In addition to my new book, I've written six other books that are available on Amazon, including Seven Year Apocalypse, Lost Prophecies of the Future, Future of America, The Beginning of the End, and Living a Life That Really Matters. When you purchase any of these books, you help to support the work that I'm doing. And one way that you can really help is by sending copies as gifts to family and friends. Time is short, and I need help getting these warnings into the hands of as many people as possible. I've published thousands of articles on the Economic Collapse blog, End of the American Dream, and the Most Important News. And the articles that I publish on those sites are published on dozens of other prominent websites all over the globe. I always freely and happily allow others to republish my articles on their own websites, but I also ask that they include this about the author section with each article. The material contained in this article is for general information purposes only, and readers should consult licensed professionals before making any legal, business, financial, or health decisions. I encourage you to follow me on social media, Facebook, and Twitter, and any way that you can share these articles with others is definitely a great help. These are such troubled times, and people need hope. John 3.16 tells us about the hope that God has given us through Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. If you've not already done so, I strongly urge you to invite Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior today. This is by Michael Snyder on the Economic Collapse blog. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon accounts. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box.